This is Omweke in Ishiopo, local government area of River State, the community where the former chief executive officer of Access Holding, Herbert Wigwe, hailed from. Here, most businesses are closed and residents are dressed in black, reflecting the mood of the moment. I am very, very sad. If you can see my heart, you see that my heart is bleeding for the loss of our dearly brother. Caring and honest brother, the way he died, we are not happy. The eye of the community, the hope of many, just go like that. The husband of the widows, father of the fatherless, brother of the brotherless, we are not happy at all. For so, a community leader who spoke with us described Herbert Wigwe as a great philanthropist and a replaceable figure with the people already in mourning. Just as he confirmed the declaration of seven days of mourning by the Yenwele of Ishoku, supported by the Council of Chiefs and stakeholders. Well, uh, since uh, Saturday evening, we had a sudden news that our brother, our mentor, died in plane crash over there, U.S. We are so sad that death is one in one billion. The man was too good. The chairman of Equerry Local Government Area and the member representing Equerry constituency in the River State House of Assembly also paid tribute to Mr. Wigwe, promising to uphold his legacies. It's just clear that whatever you cannot change, you have to live with it. For us as Equerry Local Government people, and as you query people, we are very clear that death came very late. Dr. Abat Wigwe has already planted the seed in us. We are the fearless generation who stand by his legacies. He's a man that has developed men in equal local government, river states, and Nigeria. It is a loss for Ikwe people, river state, and Nigeria. Our attempt to access Uigwe University was restricted, but we learned from an insider that the institution was set to commence operations in March before the tragic event that claimed the life of its founder. All of our children, eh? Yes. Now this school they will go. The visionary banker may have departed, but his indelible footprint in the world of banking and philanthropy will continue to be a source of inspiration to many. Deborah Balama, Channels Television News.